Hi, welcome to this corporate maths primary video on place value. In this video, we're going to look at what place value is and we're going to answer some typical questions on it. Here we've got two numbers, the number two and the number seven. Both of these numbers have just got units. Two is two units and seven is seven units. Okay, let's have a look at tens. So we've got units and then the next column is tens. So the number 50 has got five tens. So we write five in the tens column and zero in the units column. So it's 50. 23 on the other hand, it's got two tens, that's 20, and it's got three units. So we would write a two in the tens column and a three in the units column. Okay, let's look at our next column, which is hundreds. The number 800 has just got eight hundreds. So we write eight in the hundreds column, zero in the tens column and zero in the units column. The number 219 would have two hundreds. It has got one lot of 10 and it has got nine units. So we write a two in the tens column, or sorry, two in the hundreds column, a one in the tens column, and a nine in the units column. Okay, let's have a look at our next column, thousands. So our, um, here we've got two numbers. We've got the number 2,000. So 2,000 has got two thousands, no hundreds, no tens, and no units. And the number 3,708 has three thousands, seven hundreds, no tens, and eight units. So we write the three in the thousands, the seven in the hundreds, a zero in the tens column, and an eight in the units column. Okay, um, this carries on. The next column is ten thousands. The next one is hundred thousands. The next one would be millions and so on. Let's have a look at the columns to the right of the decimal points. So the first column to the right of the decimal point is the tenths column. And here's two numbers, 0 0.3 and 8.1. So the number 0.3 has got no units, so there's a zero in the units column, and it's got three temps, so there's a three in the temps column. 8.1 has got eight units, the decimal point, and a one in the temps column because it's got one temp. And the column to the right of the temps column is the hundredths column. So the number 0.02 is two hundredths, and the number 1.16 is one unit, one temp, and six hundredths. Okay, let's have a look at some typical questions now. So our first question says, write down the value of the digit seven in the number 275. So the two is in the hundreds column, the seven is in the tens column, and the five is in the units column. So the seven represents 70, seven tens. So we're gonna write down 70. The next question says, write down the value of the digit two in the number 1,298. So as you can see, we've got thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. The two is in the hundreds column, so it's two hundreds. So we're gonna write down 200. Okay, our next question. Right, so our question says, write down the value of the digit four in the number 10.42. So we've got one ten, no units, four tenths, and two hundredths. So because the digit four is in the tenths column, it's gonna be 0 0.4, four tenths. Right, so our next question, we've got the number cards 4, 9, 1, and 6. And the question says, use each number card once to make the smallest possible number. So we've got our answer boxes. We've got thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. So let's figure out what uh, number card we want to put into the thousands box to begin with. So it's a choice between 4,000, 9,000, 1,000, or 6,000. Let's put the 1 in there because that would make the smallest possible number. Okay, so we've got the one put in the box. Now let's think of the other digits, four, nine, and six. So let's look at our hundreds column. So we've got a choice between 400, 900, or 600. Well, 400 we'll, we'll put in there because that would give us the smallest possible number. So we've got 1,400. Now we've got a choice between a nine and a six. So the tens column. So we're gonna put the six in there because 60 will be smaller than 90. And the units, we'll put the nine in there because nine units is well, it's our only choice really. So our answer would be 1,469. That's the smallest possible number we can make with those digits. If we were asked to make the biggest possible number, we would have done 9641. We would have put the biggest numbers to the left and the smallest ones to the right. Okay, and our last question. Our last question, the question says, here are four number cards, five, seven, eight, one. And the question says, use each number card once to make the largest even number. So we've got to make the largest even number. Now, because it says even, that means that the last digit in the units column needs to be either a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight. Now, we've only actually got one of those numbers here. We've only got the eight 
is a possible choice there. So we're going to pack, and I have to put the eight into the units column to begin with, okay, to make it even. Okay, we want to make the largest possible number. So because we want to make the largest possible number, we're going to put the largest number into the thousands column. Well, we can't put the eight, so we'll put the seven in there. We'll put the five into the hundreds and we'll put the one into the tens. And that will give us the answer 7,518. And that's our answer.